Investment Banking Guide to Investor Relations Management To put it simply, Investor Relations Management IRM, refers to the various ways publicly listed companies communicate with current and potential investors. 1. The primary purpose of IRM is to provide market feedback to the company on its performance, which in turn helps the company develop corporate plans and make critical decisions. Additionally, effective IRM can contribute to the company's valuation. Enable a reasonable level of circulation of the company's shares and contribute to the company's future capital market operations. The capital market has evolved with various tools such as the internet, TV, and online media, allowing companies to reach potential investors more effectively. In this complex regulatory environment, Companies require guidance from experts in this area to help them improve their financial reporting, disclosure, and corporate governance standards. Effective IRM is essential in an environment where investor trust is slow, corporate reputation is damaged, and many companies' valuations are under severe pressure. Investor relations management is super important for public companies. Why? Because it helps the company get a fair price for its shares, and how do they do that? It gives stock analysts and investors all the information they need to understand the company's situation, the more credible and objective the information, the more likely investors will see it as a good investment, it's like marketing, but for stocks. But it's about more than just getting investors interested, investor relations management also helps build a good reputation for the company, which can increase trading volume, build investor confidence, and get long-term support, plus, by listening to investor suggestions. Companies can improve their management and governance, making them more competitive. Investor relations management can benefit small and medium-sized investors who might need more resources to do their analysis, by being transparent and communicating effectively. Companies can dispel doubts and attract more interest from investors, so, the bottom line is good investor relations can make a company's shares more popular, improve liquidity, and set them up for future capital raising activities, when attracting investors. Mature investors look for management with suitable skills and long-term goals, this is especially important for small and medium-sized companies. Company executives can describe their plans to achieve their vision and strategy by explaining their long-term plans and strategies to investors and analysts, the company's strategic and financial information is crucial to share with potential investors. The communication medium used is the tactical tool of investor relations management, but small companies have a tough time attracting investors, any listed company faces difficulties in investor relations management, including macroeconomic influences, stock market climate, and securities regulators as influencing factors, however, small and medium-sized listed companies need more support, their greatest challenge is the need for more investor attention due to their small size, due to resource and management awareness constraints. Small and medium-sized companies either invest very little in investor relations management or need to learn about investor relations management strategies and implementation. So these companies have to use their relatively limited resources to continuously raise the attention of buy-side analysts and investors to their stocks, the main difficulties faced by small and medium-sized listed companies in conducting IR management include the following. Let's talk about the challenges that small and medium-sized companies face when it comes to investor relations management, first, they may need help with brand recognition because they're not as well-known as larger companies, which makes it hard to attract investors, especially retail investors. Second, because there are fewer shares and shareholders, the stocks of these companies often have low liquidity, which can turn off some investors who value liquidity, the lack of liquidity also leads to high volatility in stock prices, which is not ideal for investors who want stable returns. Another challenge is that small and medium-sized companies often lack the resources and staff to manage investor relations effectively, this means they may have lower budgets to devote to this area and may be unable to produce detailed reports or presentations for investors. Finally, there's often a shortage of research reports from equity analysts, making it difficult for small businesses to get the attention of investors who rely on these reports to make investment decisions, to sum it up. Small and medium-sized companies face various challenges in investor relations management, including lack of brand recognition, low liquidity, 
high stock price volatility, shortage of resources, and lack of research reports from equity analysts. Overcoming these challenges requires a smart strategy and a commitment to building relationships with investors over the long term. Investor relations management is crucial for small and medium-sized companies to gain investor attention and understand the company, with IR management's help. Investors can better understand the company's strategies, plans, and goals. The importance of IR management can be seen in various aspects, such as the impact on the company's share price and future financing, the company's reputation, and the confidence of the market. One of the critical elements of IR management is communicating market information to investors, including significant events and developments that can affect the company's share price. However, it's not just about conveying information to the market. Companies should also take feedback from investors and use it to make strategic decisions. This two-way communication can help companies understand the market better essential better decisions. Many companies' stocks are undervalued because they are not listening to what the market is saying about their business model or how they communicate information to the market. IR management consultants play an important role in deciding which information should be conveyed to the market and how to communicate with investors effectively. Ultimately, successful investor relations management can help small and medium-sized companies build a good market image. Increase trading volume, gain investors' trust and support, and increase their financing ability in the stock market. Investor relations management is crucial for listed companies as it involves communicating, disclosing, and building relationships with investors in the United States. Two types of companies provide investor relations management services. The first type includes investor relations management firms set up by investment bankers who primarily offer transaction-driven services. The second type comprises strategy consulting firms like MMB, McKinsey, BCG, Bain, Roland Berger, Strategy and PwC, and FTI, formerly Deloitte's U.S. Consulting Business that offer long-term value building and strategic direction services, the U.S. firm's development can be attributed to the investor culture, which emphasizes studying a company's business model. Competitive environment, industry trends, corporate governance, and transparency, U.S. investors have high expectations for transparency in corporate governance, which drives the need for listed companies to maintain transparency and increase investor trust through investor relations management activities. Unlike Chinese companies focusing on tactical culture, U.S. investments put the company into a strategic framework. Capital market resources and strategic frameworks are the two main tools of investor relations management, and they are critical for building long-term value, maintaining transparency, and increasing investor trust when managing investor relations. It's essential to understand that different cultures have different approaches, European and American companies tend to have a strategic culture, which may be hard for Chinese people to fully understand, as Chinese culture tends to focus more on tactics and minor skills. This cultural difference means that when communicating with investors, choosing the appropriate communication style and content is essential based on local cultural characteristics and investor preferences to achieve effective communication. A strategic framework is an effective tool for companies to optimize shareholder value and provide accurate information to the public about corporate affairs, especially in investor relations management. Investor relations management involves the communication between companies and investors. It is typically handled by strategic consulting firms that provide company-specific services such as investor engagement, corporate communications, and strategic advisory services. The content of investor relations management requires a strategic consulting framework to handle and dismantle. Strategic planning and management systems that form part of the strategic framework can help public companies with their investor relatio solidorts by maintaining strong relationships with existing investors, attracting new investors, and communicating with the broader financial community. Additionally, strategic consulting firms that provide investor relations services can help companies meet regulatory requirements and address challenges posed by environmental, social, and governance (ESG). shareholder resolutions thus strategic frameworks are invaluable for companies seeking to strengthen investor relations management and investor relationships in the world of investor relations management 
Strategy consulting firms utilize a strategic methodology that is widely taught in Western business schools and used by institutional investors, executives, regulators, and other relevant stakeholders to analyze and understand companies. Although these consulting firms may not have significant investor resources, they have an advantage in methodology and talent training, giving them a foothold in the industry, in the United States and Hong Kong. Brokerage research departments must remain neutral due to relevant independence regulations, at the same time, investment banking is mainly transaction-driven, which makes it difficult for non-large stocks, therefore, independent institutions handle investor trading services. With the United States being particularly prominent, Hong Kong's stock market has not been as active in recent years, resulting in fewer investor relations management activities. For several reasons, the United States is more active in investor relations management than Hong Kong. First, the U.S. has a larger investor market, including institutional investors, retail investors, and equity funds, which are highly interested in a company's financial information, strategic planning, and governance structure. Second, U.S. Investors have a strong investment culture and demand corporate transparency, driving the need for listed companies to maintain transparency and improve investor trust through investor relations management activities to attract more investment. To attract investors, small and medium-sized listed companies in Hong Kong need to shift their focus from technology to practicality and pay attention to traditional basic judgment methods such as business model, profitability, cash flow situation speed of market acceptance, competitive analysis, corporate positioning, strategy, and core competence, fund managers are more interested in profitability and cash flow, so entrepreneurs need to showcase their company's ability to generate cash flow. They should not just brag about technology and products but also emphasize the business model and profitability of the company, in addition, Companies should also take advantage of digital technology and services to improve the efficiency and quality of investor relations management activities. Companies should also take regulatory requirements seriously, maintain transparency, and improve investor trust through investor relations management activities to attract more investment. How technology and healthcare companies can adapt to new investor standards, technology, biotechnology, pharmaceutical, and medical device companies are poised for success, but a variety of complex favariuses their profitability, capital markets previously valued these companies for their ability to innovate continuously, however. Investors are now more focused on these companies' underlying profitability and operational risk, they want to know how companies convert technology into cash flow and whether managers understand the risks and key elements to overcome difficulties, unfortunately. Many Chinese companies believe it is solely the responsibility of investors and analysts to assess the value of their stocks. This unrealistic approach to investor relations management must change if these companies want to improve transparency and expect investors to make positive investment decisions with limited information. Recent declines in tech and digital currency markets have raised concerns among investors about the transparency of these industries, the Chinese government's regulatory measures to consolidate technology companies have further fueled investor concerns. This situation underscores the need for tech companies to provide understandable, accurate and extensive information to help investors assess risks and returns, failure to do so may prompt investors to turn to other industries that are less risky and easier to understand. The digital currency market is also experiencing a severe crash, companies in both the tech and digital currency markets must provide more information and transparency to meet investor needs, the importance of investor relations management cannot be overstated. Companies must manage investor expectations to avoid a widening perception gap between themselves and investors, which could lead to a crisis of trust, low return on equity is a significant concern for investors. A company holding on to large amounts of cash for extended periods can lead to undervaluation, if a company's return on new projects is higher than the cost of capital invested, the money should be invested in the company's business, on the other hand. If the return is lower than the cost of capital, it should be returned to shareholders through dividends or share buybacks, however, some small and medium-sized listed companies hold on to their cash, invest in unrelated industries with no synergies, 
or engage in secondary market stock speculation. Which can be risky for investors, this makes it difficult for investors to trust these companies to make sound investment decisions. Companies can use various tools and documents to communicate with potential investors. A fact sheet is a one-page document that contains information about the company's products or services, including financial data and key features. A corporate presentation is a more detailed presentation that includes the company's history, business model, market trends, and financial data. White papers or information sheets explain a product, service, or industry trend, annual reports and investor relations websites can also be useful tools for communicating information to potential investors. Companies must be transparent and provide understandable information to attract and maintain investor trust, as a manager of a small or medium-sized company. It's important to understand the information that investors need to know in order to make informed decisions about investing in your company, this means adopting appropriate guidelines for investor relations management to ensure that the information you share is persuasive and effective. Investor relations management is the science of building and maintaining relationships between your company and its investors, as well as other participants in the financial community. When communicating with investors, it's important to have both strategic and tactical skills. Strategic skills involve organizing content in a logical way that aligns with the professional investor's judgment of the company, this helps make the investment topic itself more persuasive, tactical skills involve using the appropriate means and channels to disseminate the content effectively. However, the effectiveness of the tactics is dependent on the persuasiveness of the content, which is essential for successful investor relations. Investor relations management companies provide a range of services to potential public companies to help them effectively communicate with investors. They have specialists in capital markets, strategy, and communications who work together to translate the company's financial performance, strategic decisions, and business activities into impactful investor information. These firms use various strategies to efficiently provide services to their clients, they ensure that the company's message influences investors through a mix of traditional and online media, increasing visibility and supporting valuations. They also help with investor outreach through channels like roadshows and events and distribute the company's message to interested investors. Investor relations management firms analyze industry peers, conduct perception audits, and perform shareholder analysis to help clients interact with investors and prepare for critical interactions. They also design and support impactful events like investor days, site visits, and non-deal roadshows to disseminate company information to the investment community. In addition, these firms engage with financial media to ensure accurate dissemination of financial results and company news, helping increase visibility, understanding, and support of corporate actions. They also develop digital and social engagement solutions like digital annual reports, videos, interactive websites, and social media strategies to reach a broader audience. Overall, Investor relations management companies offer a range of services to help potential public companies communicate effectively with investors and improve their visibility and credibility in the capital markets. If you're a public company, an investor relations management IR, firm can help you with several crucial tasks, including developing an IR management strategy document. A good IR management strategy document can help you develop and implement a targeted IR management plan. This can include communication strategies for different types of investors, investor research arrangements, organization of the IR department, and training of IR department personnel, preparing disclosure documents, IR firms can help you write and publish relevant disclosure documents, such as quarterly reports, annual reports, investor relations web pages, corporate press releases, etc., Timely and transparent information disclosure can provide investors with more information for decision-making, increasing their trust in the company. Organizing investor communication, IR firms can help you plan, organize, and implement investor communication activities, such as conference calls, webcasts, regular investor relations meetings, etc. These events allow investors to communicate and ask questions directly to company management and provide a platform for management to better understand investor concerns and issues, analyzing investor relations data, 
IR firms can help you conduct analysis of investor relations data, such as shareholder structure, stock trading, investor types, investor concerns, etc. The results of these analyses can help you develop targeted investor relations management plans and communication content. Integrating ESG into investor relations management, ESG is an investment standard that brings new challenges to listed companies' investor relations management. IR firms can help you integrate ESG data, enhance your sustainability and social responsibility, and incorporate ESG concepts into your investor relations management. Overall, an IR firm can provide valuable guidance and support for your company's investor relations activities. Helping you effectively communicate with investors and build trust and credibility in the capital markets, 5 Steps of Investor Relations Management To effectively manage investor relations, companies should follow these 5 steps. Develop a clear and compelling message. A company's message should be concise, transparent, and easy to understand. It should clearly communicate the company's strengths, unique value proposition, and strategic plans. Identify and engage with the right investors. Companies should identify and target the right investors who are interested in their industry and have a long-term investment perspective. They should also use various channels to reach out to potential investors, such as roadshows, conferences, and social media. Build and maintain relationships with investors. Companies should establish strong and long-lasting relationships with investors by providing them with timely and accurate information, responding to their inquiries and feedback, and addressing their concerns and issues. Monitor and analyze market trends and investor perceptions. Companies should monitor market trends and investor perceptions by conducting regular surveys, attending industry events, and analyzing relevant data. This helps them to stay ahead of the curve and adjust their strategies accordingly. Continuously improve investor relations. Companies should continuously improve their investor relations management by seeking feedback from investors, benchmarking against peers, and adopting best practices. This helps to enhance their credibility, attract more investment, and achieve long-term success. Step 1. Develop a strategic plan. Every successful project needs a detailed plan, and the same goes for a company's investor relations strategy. The plan should focus on three to four main goals and communicate how the company will use its resources to achieve those goals. This can include private placements, IPOs, or secondary market financing to increase shareholder value. Step 2. Disclosure of information to increase visibility. It's important to disclose as much information as possible about what media and analysts care about, a well-executed communications plan can help build shareholder value, improve liquidity, facilitate access to capital markets, expand investor relations. Clarify corporate ownership relationships, research reports should be studied, and similar stocks should be focused on to identify companies of interest to analysts. Relevant investors can be obtained through online searches and by researching industry-specific filings. Important factors to investors include profitability, quality of earnings, good assets and liabilities, quality management, products, and high barriers to competition. Step 3. Design and disseminate the message. Once investors have been classified and the desired message has been designed, it's essential to disseminate that message through various channels, including information products or other forms. The company should prepare for further communication with investors to ensure their needs and questions are answered. Step 3. Presenting your company to get potential investors interested in your company. You need to communicate what it does and what its future plans are. Start by defining your company's strengths and position in the industry and identify barriers to entry and gaps the company fills, then clarify how the industry and economic environment affect your company's growth and what strategies you use to build shareholder value, finally, put your story into written form, avoiding industry jargon and internal biases. Get feedback from outsiders and revise until it captures the interest of potential investors, step 4 delivering your message. Choose the best channel to deliver your company's message to potential investors, this may include investor roadshows, analyst meetings, press releases, etc., 
keep in mind that government regulations, such as those imposed by the SEC, may affect how you communicate with investors and manage your business operations for IPOs and public companies. Prospectuses and annual reports can effectively communicate with shareholders, investors, and other stakeholders, remember. Investors want to see that your company uses its money wisely and generates profits, getting feedback from investors is crucial for any company. By listening to qualitative feedback from the investment community and analyzing quantitative feedback such as stock valuations, companies can better understand how their communication efforts are being received and adjust as needed, in addition. Building strong relationships with key influencers in the capital markets, such as investment bankers, lawyers, accountants, and venture capitalists, can also be beneficial, these professionals can provide valuable insights and connections to potential investors. Effective investor relations management requires careful planning, clear communication, and a willingness to adapt and adjust based on feedback from investors and the broader financial community.